Welcome to Music Theory. This is Grade 2, Week 6, brought to you by To Enable. This week we'll take a look at scales covering the major scale and the minor scale. Let's begin. Scales. Scales can be written with or without key signatures. When written without key signatures, accidentals are placed before the notes. When, when writing scales without key signatures, place accidentals before the notes. There is no need to place accidentals before notes if a key signature is present at the beginning of the staff. Let's take a look at some examples below. Here is an example of a G major scale ascending. The first example has a key signature at the beginning, so there is no need to put key signatures before notes. The second example is without key signatures, so there is no key signature present here. As a result, an accidental was placed before the F to raise it, making it an F sharp. Remember, put accidentals before notes if a key signature is not present. In this grade, we'll look at the following scales. The major scale, C, G major scale, D major scale, E, F, B flat, E flat, and A flat. And also covering harmonic minor scales of A, E, B, F sharp, G, C, and F. The construction of a major scale. A major scale has about eight notes, which is like an octave. It has two semitones. The first semitone is between the third and fourth degree. First semitone is between the third and fourth. And the second semitone is between the seventh and eighth degree. The rest of the intervals are whole tones. Start from bottom of your clef, ascend in a staircase pattern up to an octave, then descend in the same pattern. Let's look at the step movement of a scale. Start from the bottom, the first interval from C to the second degree, D, the whole tone, second to third degree, the whole tone. But now here we find our first semitone between the third and fourth degree. ST represents semitone, WT for whole tones. Then from the fourth degree to the fifth degree, it's a whole tone. From the fifth degree to the sixth, it's a whole tone. Sixth to the seventh, whole tone. Then our second semitone again between the seventh and eighth degrees. This is the step movement of a major scale. It's in a stair case pattern going up, 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 up till the end. Let's look at, take a look at some examples of major scale. The following is an ascending and, and, and descending uh, C major scale. It's without key signatures, so therefore expect to see accidental before notes. So the first degree, second degree, third degree, to the fourth degree is a semitone. It's indicated by a slur. Then between the seventh and eighth degree, again, we have our slur. When descending, you find uh, the semitones be uh, between the 8th going to the 7th degree now, because we are going reverse, backwards, and 4th degree to the 3rd degree, another semitone. The following is a G major scale, 3rd and 4th degree semitones. Mind you, an sh a sharp is placed next to the F note because the accidental is not present at the beginning of the staff to represent all the accidentals in the G major scale. Even when descending, you still use the same uh, accidental, place it before the note. 8th to the 7th degree is a semitone, then 4th to the 3rd degree is also a semitone. The same applies for your D major scale. Between the 3rd and 4th degree, you mark your semitones and also place accidentals when necessary. 7th degree must be raised to form a leading note. So it's raised here, it's a semitone, 7th to 8th degree, and our 7th degree again, an accidental is placed, semitone again between the 4th going to the 3rd since we are descending. Now let's look at minor scales. We have three kinds of minor scales. The harmonic minor, melodic minor, natural minor. In this grade, we are going to focus on 
the harmonic minor scale. The raised seventh degree of the harmonic minor scale makes it different from the melodic and the natural minor scale. The harmonic minor is also known as the relative minor of the major scale. So the seventh, the raised seventh degree, let's take a look at examples. This is a C harmonic minor, C, D, E flat, F, A flat, a G flat, or G, then A flat, then B natural. Now, accidentals are placed at the beginning of the staff, so there's no need to place accidentals before notes. Our A is flat. Our B initially, it's flat, but now the flat has been cancelled by the natural sign because it's the seventh degree. So the seventh degree is raised to form a leading note, making our harmonic minor scale different from the melodic and the natural minor scales. The harmonic minor scale is also known as the relative minor because it shares the same key signatures with the major. Semitones are between the second to third, fifth to sixth, seventh to eighth, and when ascending, and eight to seventh for descending, six to five, three to four when descending. Let's take a look at some harmonic minor scale examples. The following is A harmonic minor scale. A obviously is our first degree, our root. The first semitone when ascending is found between second going to the third. Then the second semitone between the fifth going to the sixth. Then the third semitone, seventh going to the eighth. The harmonic minor scale consists of three semitones. Then we raise our 7th degree to form a leading note. Remember the 7th degree must lie a semitone below the root, which is your 8th degree. And when descending, the first semitone is found between the 8th going to the 7th degree, 2nd semitone, 6th going to the 5th, 3rd semitone, 3rd going to the 2nd. Let's take a look at another harmonic minor scale. This is E harmonic minor scale. It shares the same key signature with G major scale. Hence, we have one sharp. First semitone, third to the uh, second going to the third, fifth going to the sixth, and the raised seventh forming a leading note. Then when descending, eighth to the seventh degree, it's a semitone. We placed an accidental, remember, to raise our 7th degree. But if it wasn't for the 7th degree to be raised, you wouldn't have seen any accidentals before the notes since we have a key signature present at the beginning of the staff. The next or the last uh, semitone when descending is between 3rd going to the 2nd. Same goes for the B harmonic minor scale. We find our first semitone between the 2nd going to the 3rd fifth going to the sixth and uh, the seventh going to the eighth we have our raised seventh degree when descending you also indicate the raised seventh degree again with an accidental another semitone between the sixth and the fifth and third going to the second that's the harmonic minor scale it consists of three semitones and it has a raised seventh degree to form a leading note.